In previous videos you could see us renovating an old pickup. We also got a new container and installed a big roof on it. Our workspace team is now getting into a new fascinating project. Remember the yellow van? It's been here since season 1. In this video we are going to renovate it and make it a long term living space. Welcome to a new Project Camp update. This old German post office van was one of the first additions to base camp. It was donated by our friend Mattia during season one, but after two years it stayed is a bit, let's say, rough. Yeah, the van is rusting and falling kind of apart. It has some leaks problems of electricity, it is not isolated and it is not fully leveled. So this year we decided to give it a bit more care to make it more useful and more comfy for the people that come. The van originally was designed to be a camper van but realistically this is not going to drive much more so we want to adapt it to our new setup. We want to redistribute all the furniture that is in the van and with that we want to reuse as much materials as we can from the old setup. All this means a lot of work for us, but in other case, the van would end up in a scrapyard, and we don't like that. So for us, it's worth to take the challenge and the effort to make it happen. Luckily, we count with the help of Jaime, Mariona, and Kevin. You already know Jaime, but let me introduce you to Kevin and Mariona. Hi there, I'm Mariona, 26 years old, and I come from a little town close to Barcelona. I'm a product designer and have worked at it for some years now. I came to Project Camp because I believe in a more sustainable way of life and work. All this surrounded by nature. I love the sea, dancing under the rain and swimming in waterfalls. I also like sewing and repairing clothes and I am interested in how to produce new materials out of organic waste. Believe it or not, we can create a material from this orange peel. To be honest, the future is kind of blurry for me. I go step by step figuring out what comes next, but for sure learning along the way from the amazing people I meet. Hello, my name is Kevin. I'm 36 years old and I come from Hong Kong. Hi. I'm an upcycling designer and my focus is on creating new objects with waste material. I like bringing surprises to people with material that are often overlooked. Now, I'm at Project Camp because I believe there's a way we can live without harming the environment. In the future, I would like to bring the inspiration I found here back to the society where I came from. But now, I'm quite excited to be here and help with the project with my skill. See ya! Okay, so the first thing for this project is uh, going to be level the van. The van has been uh, standing on old tires and they keep losing air, so it's getting out of level. Uh, so the first thing is to put the van on, on wooden blocks and uh, getting it level to start, start building. First thing we do is going to cut this stone into four. Okay, you can put the stone if you want there.
done Ooh. is done. Vale, perfect. Okay, we'll hold it. It was the last one. Yes, done, done. Nice. We just finished leveling the van. Uh, as you can see, all four wheels are floating in the air right now. So it doesn't matter if they have no pressure. They are now standing on four big uh, wood beams. And uh, it's it's totally leveled. So now it's it's time for the fun part. Let's go rip everything out. Perfect, thank you. Emergency box, someone? Yay! Yeah, it's okay. Give me that. Give me that.
Ready for the crowbar? Behind that. So here we are, we have everything from the van sorted, wood from the floor, wood from the wall, we try to reuse everything, that's why they are all sorted and tidily. Uh, a lot of styrofoam that we have no idea what to deal with, so I guess a lot of research need to be done. Look good, eh? The echo is empty. It's not that bad, eh? Nice. Could be worse. I was expecting it worse, actually. Nest. Nest. And it's full of wasps, eh? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah? There's At least one. I see two already. There are six. Six, six. six. We'll cut down. No, you feed. No. Fully, before you feed. Before. Yeah, yeah. This is the same roof, huh? Yeah, but the floor. But the floor? Well, but the floor was like, uh, you know, this. You have this. Five centimeters. I have <laughs> a little bit more. So we already took everything apart, we ripped everything out and uh, the last thing is to take the solar system out. Taking the wires out. No. Well, not for now. Yeah. It's stuck somewhere. Ah. And now where is it going?
So okay, I've been trying to take this metal wall out with this tiny grinder. It's not working at all. So it's time for the big one. Want the sock? It's nice. So now we are gonna measure in the inside of the van, so we can have a top view drawing, and then we can decide where to put everything. The distribution of the new house. <laughs> and yeah, that's where we're going to now. Uh, like from there. Like yeah, exactly. Overall. Okay, so we have Now that we have all the measurements, we will start designing the layout. It will take some days to figure out the best distribution for our interior. And here, like a little bucket of water. Anyway, it seems like the three of us have a similar idea. Cool. Let's see how it goes. We have the same layout. <laughs> okay, so now that the van is cleaned and it's uh, everything is ripped apart, uh, we want to bring power to the van. So we're gonna dig a trench all the way from the pizza hut to the van, so that the van is power. Okay, so this door doesn't open from the outside, so we were thinking about fixing it, but uh, it's too complicated. And we also found this old door, so we're gonna try fit this door in this opening. So our next step is to build a frame for the door and try to fit the door in the opening.
So uh, we want to use this door for the van and put it in the frame we just made. Before we can do that we have to cut it to size. We also have to uh, turn around the hinges and because we're turning around the hinges we have to turn around the lock. So I wanted to reuse the lock from the door. I tried to turn it around, but I broke it. Sometimes this happens. I'll tell Adrian to get another one and we will install it later. So meanwhile, let's continue with the door. Okay. okay, so right now we are on the roof of the yellow van. Uh, as you can see, the fiberglass is looking pretty bad. Uh, it's bended, it's leaking everywhere, and it's falling apart. Uh, it has been fixed a few times, but the fixes are not the best, as you can see. So we have to take a drastic decision and uh, we have to cut all the roof out. So we are wearing a lot of protection because we are going to cut the fiberglass on the roof and once we cut the fiber will be flying all around, that's why we are having extra protections. Mask. And glasses. Nope. It won't fold as easily. Yeah. I don't. I, I thought it won't fold as easily. <sighs> I thought you have to at least cut most of the four side. How are but you I guys? Uh, I want to take this off. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hot. Dripping already. The dust isn't as bad as no, no. described it. But the dust is okay. Yeah. 
it's not that bad. But still, mm. I prefer wearing all this stuff. Sure. Because if you get fiberglass on your skin, mm. you're gonna be Regret. two weeks regretting it. Mm. So. You make it sounds like I want to try a bit. Yeah? <laughs> Never try. Mm. Go for it. I don't know. Very hot. Much brighter here. But it worked. It's yeah. done. Better than we thought. Easier than we thought. New house. Yeah, I like the new roof. Much more open, sunlight, natural light is good. <laughs> yeah, that's how we keep it. Sunlight. <laughs> Oof, that was wild. Now we have a completely empty cabri van. We still don't know what we will do with the old roof, but let's see. For now we are done with this update. In the next video we will finish the van with the new roof, the interior and details. If you want to watch it now and without ads, you can support us in Patreon. If not, you can subscribe and help us with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and see you in the next update.